I say that Kurt, your speech was the perfect filling because you spoke to literally all of the things that our annual conference endorsed in October last year, and recognizing that there must be a new politics. There must be the creation of space and opportunity for people to serve in this country. There must be a willingness to listen, and there must be an understanding that if we don't care about each other, we're not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. And Kurt, I didn't offer you your first job, but I had the privilege of signing off as a young minister of education in a process that I was not involved in, but which I was duty bound by law to sign off on. And the first time I heard the name Kurt Humphrey was when the file came to my desk to approve a national development scholarship. And yes, I mean, in those days, we didn't get involved in the process. Like, no. <laughs> and when I, as I would usually do, reflect and go through on all of the files that came in. We happened to have had a chief education officer at the time when he gave us what to. Who, when she heard me ask, who is this young man, Kurt Humphrey? She said, he is like myself. I was his principal at the medical school. And I have watched Kurt, therefore, your development with great care and attention. Um, Barbados has to make space for young people to come forward and keep us <laughs> And in fairness, the Barbados Labour Party is blessed with an abundance of riches. And Kurt, you are here. Asakori, you are here. And I will refer to all of you. But to have people of this quality wanting to serve this country at this time of crisis is a blessing from God. I want to suggest that, and this is from someone who does not write, and I know that maybe did not write. But that I do believe that the General Secretary ought to ensure that this lecture is made available on the internet as a matter yes. of <laughs> And I want to commend the other young people in this room. For some time now, I have said that the voice of the young people in the Barbados Labour Party must be carrying this country, not just the Labour Party, but carrying this country on issues of climate change and on issues of technology. Many of us will not be around when the true impact of climate change comes to be felt in Barbados. And therefore, as young people, it is your lives that will be affected 30, 40, 50 years from now. And this is a clear example of where you can show leadership and not just take this party, but this country. I look forward to Kurt to you being part of the process as we move around by with us and the covenant once it is launched to do exactly what you spoke of tonight, to listen to the people and to hear where they want to go. God bless you.